Is Late Night with Stephen Colbert mere Democrat propaganda? Let's take a look. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. Yeah, I kind of got triggered on this a little bit here. I don't usually watch late night comedy, but nevertheless, sometimes it is interesting to see all the people watching what could be mere propaganda. Let's take a listen to Stephen Colbert and his uh, comical rendition of what he thinks is news. No, I know how numb we've become, but it's not normal. No other candidate for the presidency has ever had to pause his campaign to defend himself in multiple courts. And I would like to point out that in all seven of his cases, no one, no one doubts that he did these things. We're just sitting around patiently waiting to find out if the wheels of justice will grind fast enough for there to be any consequences. And the media is covering it like it's any other political story, like it's all horse race. Hmm. No one, no one doubts that Trump did all these things, these 91 indictments that they keep going on about. Anyway, I'm not here to, to, to litigate to whether or not he did or didn't do these things, but this idea that no one, now, you know, a lot of these late nights, you know, they mix a little truth and mix with a little falsehoods, but it's, it's pure nonsense half the time. So anybody watching these kind of late night shows and getting in from any information out of them need to be aware that it's pure propaganda. No one, let's take a look at the data. First of all, here's a, here's a, here's a poll. Half of Americans believe Trump is guilty. So at least half the people don't think he's uh, uh, guilty. So that's not no one. <laughs> and of course, there's no surprise. It's mostly Republican believe Trump and Democrats don't. And of course, that makes uh, the late night show with Stephen Colbert there uh, pure propaganda for the Democratic Party. Here's another one from YouGov. Trump indictments, which concerns you more? Indictment was politically motivated. 76% believe it's politically motivated. Of course, Stephen Colbert is not going to tell you that, is he? And the reality is all these indictments aren't going to change a lot of opinions. 61% says it won't, 18% depends. Some say for the better, some say for the worse. So for the moment, that's the GOP. So it's not going to change anybody's opinion, but they're trying real hard on this propaganda channels, uh, and most of the late night TV is like that. Opinions around Trump, here's another one from um, uh, Political. He says, opinions around Trump indictments are largely unchanged from August 2023. You can see it's about half and half on all these different charges on these 91. And so, no, it's not no one doubts. You know, a lot of people doubt. And here's a breakdown. Of course, it's the same kind of story here. It's pretty much the if you're a Republican, you think it's a witch hunt. If you're a Democrat, you think it's justice. So that is the state of the country. Of course, there's a, here's something out from um, media research. They're saying 81% of the time late night is negative on conservatives uh, or any right-leaning uh, you know issues so this shows you the bias of you if you're watching that you need to be aware of that or maybe you don't care which kind of makes it troubling but anyway taking a look at actual the, the revenue coming from late night tv programs and it's declining and it's been declining for for quite some time and it's because they've gotten so political and nobody's half the people just get turned off by it and so it's purely for democratic consumption democratic people that vote democrat consumption and that's just the way it is in any case, we asked the AI, you know, what about uh, the m m mixing comedy with politics? Is this an effective tool for politicians? There's some goods and bad. That's kind of a halfway decent write-up on that. And take our online polls. Has politics ruined the late-night comedy? Hmm. In any case, don't forget to subscribe.